everyone. Hope your day is going well. Um, I was going to do a grocery haul video for you today and um, things are a little crazy at my house right now. So I'm not going to do my usual show you everything I got video, but I will walk through and talk about some of the things that we got today as well as show you some of the fun stuff that we got. Some of it is food related, some of it is not. Um, so let's start with an explanation. The reason that I'm doing a sit down video today is because my house is exploded. We've had a very crazy couple of weeks and um, it was kind of like a whirlwind. And what we've done is that we've uh, been able to find a house. My two daughters are gonna be going to the same college in the fall and my one daughter she pays a lot for rent and so it is actually more financially better for the girls if we can get a house for them so we were able to find a condo um, in their area in their price range because they're paying for everything we're not um, we're just going to be holding the credit for it but they're going to be uh, taking care of all the bills for us and so we wanted to find something that was affordable for them that they could do without working too many hours but still have um, a good safe place to be because where my daughter is now it's not horribly unsafe but it's not the best place either. So um, uh, two weeks ago we found a house and we put an offer in and it was accepted. So on Friday we took the day off and we left we I was up at 3 15 that morning and we drove all the way to Johnson City which is about four and a half hours away and uh, did around there for a little bit and then we uh, did a walk through and did um, did a walk through and then signed the paper so now we are a two house family which is very exciting and um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be working on the next couple of weeks uh, taking some of the stuff from our house that we know is not going to it that we don't absolutely have to have and put it in the new house because they got a really nice one and it's got a lot of room for them and we're very excited so we've been We've been looking at what we have, and as a family, you know, we've always been very tight, and we've always bought used if we need, you know, need anything, and we like eclectic because um, it means you don't have to match, and so you can buy what you, what you can afford at the time. So we have like our dining room chairs are all different, and our silverware is all different, and you know, we've just got things like that going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of that stuff that doesn't match and we're going to give it to the girls because, hey, it's free, right? And we're going to start upgrading the stuff that we have because we deserve it after 25 years. And so we're looking at some things uh, new for us as well as some things used for us and used for them and new for them. So I'm... So part of our budget for today was spent on that stuff. And then also, what is that noise? I have no idea. I hear a noise over there and it's just distracting me, sorry. Um, so some of the stuff that we bought today is, is in planning for when we move our furniture and stuff to the, the new house in two weeks. So we're going to be really busy. Um, and I know that, you know, I haven't really spent a lot on groceries the last couple of weeks. And uh, one of the reasons why was because we knew we were going to be buying this house and we wanted to save up as much money as we could because we knew that there were going to be some expenses um, in setting up a new house that, you know, we don't have two of everything. So we're going to have to buy some new things. That being said, we haven't had a lot of groceries, and so I needed to stock up on the food. So today at Walmart, I spent $108, and at Aldi, I spent $91. Now, again, part of that money is not on food stuff. At Walmart, we got things like they had no markdown meat, but we needed meat. And my daughter said that she wanted hamburgers this week, so I got ground beef. I got chicken legs because we haven't gotten those in a long time. I got, um, wrong, wrong receipt. This is the right receipt. I got, um, uh, 
drumsticks, beef, um, some crisps and stuff like that. I mean, the normal stuff we usually get at Walmart. Um, I don't think we got too much off plan at Walmart. The one thing we did is we went down the clearance aisle because we always do. And I actually found this planner. Um, and I don't like to buy planners this late in the year because most of the time that means that they're going to be out of date and you can't use them all. But one thing I noticed when I flipped through it is that there's no dates in here. So you actually create, and I can open this up a little bit and show you maybe, um, that you actually get to create your own calendar on here. So this is usable from year to year. And I was really excited about that. The one planner that I really, really like, see, there's no month in here. So I can create my own calendar. Um, and that being said, um, this one is not the one that I wanted, but because it was only $5 when the one that I wanted was $17, even on clearance it was $17, um, I went ahead, sorry, my computer's distracting me now. I went ahead and um, got this one for $5. It's nice, it's got a good plastic cover to it, it's got a bunch of tabs on it, so I'm really excited to see what all that means. And then it also has um, stickers to go with it, which I've really enjoyed using stickers in my current planner, and it's got some other fun stickers to go with it. So while I was looking at this one, I also noticed this box, and the brand of this is the Happy Planner. Okay, so this happy planner was only five dollars, and then I saw that they also have this, and it's got like almost 2200 pieces to it, and it's a bunch of stickers for the happy planner as well. So, this was also on clearance for five dollars. So, I got this, I spent on myself, this was ten dollars, and I will be using that next year, so I'm all set for next year with that. Um, and so that's basically just looking. Yeah, that's basically all that we got at Walmart other than food stuff. So then we went from there to Essex and at Essex we actually spent the most money or excuse me bargain hunt. We spent uh, $222 which sounds like a lot, but what we did is we were able to find the dining room chairs we were looking for. These dining room chairs are really nice. They're just, you know, the plain wooden ones with the rounded back and the slats and the flat seat. The box said $69 for two chairs. So we got, we wanted six chairs. We ended up, um, that would have been $210. Some other things that we got while we were there because they were a good price and the girls need more stuff is we got some um, kitchen towels. These were $1.75 for two, which I felt was a, which was a decent price. I really like this towel. Um, I don't think they're gonna be <laughs> real impressed with this one, but you know what? It works. So that's all that really matters, and just, they don't have to pay for it, right? So I actually found three of those. So they get three on fleek towels. Um, and then I also found this set, which was $1.75 and it's just a, a waffle type towel and it comes with this. Um, but the interesting thing, you can see it's shiny. These are actually rubbery, so they're going to help it not slip if you're grabbing something glass or something. So I thought that was really, really neat. So I got them those towels for their house. And then um, for $1.75, I actually found, I don't know if you guys can see, it's a J. So of course I had to get that for me, you know. I like drinking out of those little glasses, so, so that was something fun. And last night we had a lot of stress, and that's another reason why our house is a mess right now. Because in 2010, um, our entire street got flooded in Tennessee. Uh, from the big bad storms May 2nd, May 1st and 2nd. And we have had a lot of rain this week. And we got home at 5.30 yesterday, 5.30 p.m. yesterday after being gone for more than um, 36 hours. And we drove past all of the usual spots that would flood to, to make sure things weren't bad, that we weren't having any problems. And when we drove over those spots, everything looked good. 
An hour later, my neighbor down the street called me and she said, hey, um, I'm leaving for work right now and this is not good. Um, it's starting to come over the road. We're starting to see the water rise on the creek. Um, it almost looks like my end of the road is flooded. So um, you need to go check things out. And they also said that they were going to be releasing some dam water like they did back in 2010, which was the cause of our flood. Um, our house is not in a floodplain, but it got 14 inches of water in the one area. So it was pretty impactful for us. We lost, you know, a third of our house for a little bit until we could get it fixed. And honestly, um, I think we're a little nervous because we still haven't finished fixing it up down there. Um, so last night was very stressful and I was like, you know what, we're not going to do this again because we didn't know the flood was coming last time and we, everything that was down there, I wasn't going to keep. It had been touched by flood water. The flood water had the sewer in it. It had gasoline in it. It had oil from cars in it. I mean, it had everything in it. It was nasty. And I was like, mm -mm, I'm not keeping anything that that flood water touched unless it was like wood that we could clean really well because it was just, it was just not sanitary. So I got, I got in mode and I was like, okay, we're going to move everything upstairs. My office, because I work from home is in that area and we had furniture down there and all of our electronics so right now in my dining room I have a couch I have the cat tree I have my computers and my monitors and lights and all sorts of stuff so um, that's why I'm sitting here and not showing you everything because it's a mess um, but that goes into we also at Essex did a little bit of retail therapy which is probably not the best thing but um, we were very stressed out both my husband and I and my daughter from having to go through this emotion last night and so while we were there we did get a couple of things that were fun for us the first thing that I found which I've been looking at for a while is this four in one or four in a row wooden game so it's actually made out of wood and it's like connect four and it was four dollars and fifty cents so you know we've got a good collection of games going and so I was like yep that's my game that's my game I like and I was like you know what okay I'm also gonna get my other favorite game that I've been looking at for weeks and weeks and weeks I used to play this all the time when I was a kid. I love backgammon. It wasn't marked down, it was still $7, but if you can see on the back, it's actually a wooden set, which I like. I like that it's a wooden set. So, and it comes in this really nice case, display case, so I'm excited to go ahead and play that with my husband and beat his pants off. Um, and so he got for himself, <laughs> And he's been looking at it for a few weeks and making sure that it was a good price and everything. He got himself a, a drone. And it was $35. And he said, or $37. He said it was a really good deal. I take his word for it. He's been talking about it. And the thing he likes is that it'll, it'll walk with you. You don't, it'll like fly with you or something like that. So... I was like, okay, whatever. And he tried to sell me on it, like using this as a reason because I could film using the drone while I was cooking and it would follow along as I moved through the kitchen and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, dude, you know that is not gonna work. You know this is 100% for you. So I called him on that and, and we both kind of laughed. Um, and then from Bargain Hunt, we went over to, so all of that was, uh, $243 but the good thing was when we took the chairs up they were actually on clearance or they were marked down 20% so instead of getting two chairs for $70 we got two chairs for 55 so I was really really excited about that so we saved um, $172 or 44% um, just by all the savings that we all the markdowns that we used today 
And then we went over to Aldi, and we, like I said, we spent $90 at Aldi. Most of it was on the regular stuff that we normally get, so that doesn't bear my showing you that stuff. Um, but some of the things that we got there was, um, <laughs> it's a retractable grabber, which is nice if you're trying to grab tall things and stuff like that. It was only $5. Um, my dad swears by it to get stink bugs out of the house, so if you have stink bugs, here you go. And then um, we also found that they had these, which um, are pink Himalayan sea salt shakers, uh, grinders. And I like this size because it's good for my purse and I can bring it with me. And it was $1.79. So these are now at Aldi, so if you guys like... Himalayan salt, there you go. And then I got two of these, which they smell really, really, really good. And they were $1.79 each, so I got two of them because I have a couple of um, warmers that I use. And so I was excited. I like, it's lavender and thyme. And then my husband got this salsa. And this salsa is actually one gram of carb per two tablespoons not bad. So he likes his salsa. I, I love salsa, but I can't have it. So that's his. And then the last thing, I'm just making sure I've touched it all. Um, the last thing that we got was for him. And um, he likes to take and use pork rinds, kind of like a cracker kind of thing. And then what he'll do is he'll take Swiss cheese. And today he also got this ham. And um, he will use that as kind of like the topping on the cracker. And so um, the ham is uh, uh, one gram of carb per five slices. Now these are thin slices, but still one gram of carb, that's not bad. And, um, and then the Swiss cheese that we like. So other than that, we got all the usual stuff. We got my daughter's tea. We got the, um, we got paper towels from Aldi. We got toilet paper from Aldi. We got, um, hamburger buns for my daughter. <laughs> we had to get an eight pack and she'll probably eat two of them. And, uh, so we've got hamburger buns for her, um, and you know just the basic stuff that we normally get so I just wanted to kind of share with you what we spent this week again like I said it was a little more expensive we were kind of planning for this anyway I'm sure we have a few more things to buy before we move everything into the new house but um, hopefully by next week my house will be back in order and I can get back to doing my regular um, grocery haul videos like I have been. So I hope you guys have a great week, and, um, and we will talk to you later.